everyone, it's Nick from Nick's Crossing. Welcome to the channel for a catalog review today. Today we'll be reviewing the Lionel 2022 Volume 2 catalog. This is actually the first time reviewing any catalog on the channel, new or old. And this video was requested by you guys, the viewers. So thank you so much for this video idea. Can't wait to get into it. Now, I have not looked through this catalog yet. I've seen things floating around online, people posting pictures on the O-Gage forums and such, and on YouTube, but we been kind of not paying a whole lot of attention to it, so we can get an honest review right here. Now, a couple of ground rules. Rule number one, if I see something that I like, I'm going to let you guys know and say, hey, that's pretty cool, but I will tell you the things that I think that I personally enjoy in the realms that I collect and things like that. Rule number two, if I see something that's not for me, I'm going to be very respectful and just say, hey, that's not for me, it looks cool, but it's just not for me. It doesn't mean it's good or bad, um, it's, just, it's just not for me. Now rule number three, this is the most important one of them all, I'm not going to complain about the price. Yes, I am aware Lionel's prices went up. A lot of my friends in the hobby even mentioned it to me before this video. They said, Nick, you know, you're going to cry. <laughs> you're going to cry and, and glut over the prices. And I said, look, you know, I understand, but... There is so much out there, guys. This market is flooded with toy trains, model trains. If you don't find it in this catalog, it's not the last, you know, the last trains ever made. There is so much out there in the market. Do your research, you know, do your searching. You'll find what you want, I promise. And it'll be a lot less expensive, hopefully. So let's get into this awesome review, guys. All aboard. So on the cover here, you have this... Uh, giant steam engine. You got two two sets of pistons here. So it's, I guess, a big boy, possibly. Let's see what we got. So they give you a nice little table of contents. We have like a hyperlink here for a video. That's kind of cool. Um, let's go through the table. Bluetooth app, base three, cab three. Okay, that's going to be really interesting to look at. Legacy steam, legacy diesel, high-end set, freight cars. Very nice. Traditional, so we call that 027 uh, now stuff's a little bit beefier, so I call it 031. You got Lion Chief Plus, Lion Chief, Lion Chief Sets. Okay. Rolling stocks, so that's traditional rolling stock. Accessories, power control. Then under here we have just a couple other things. American Flyer, Legacy Sets. So we'll check out all this stuff. I'm really excited to get into this. So let's go. All right, so we have the Cab 3 or Cab 3 Base. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay, it looks like a Hellgate Bridge, uh, which is a very collectible Lionel accessory. <laughs> but that looks pretty gnarly. Uh, I can operate all of these. This is the biggest thing. Legacy, TMCC, Lion Chief 2.0, Lion Chief Plus, Lion Chief, Flyer Chief. So that's also very interesting because you could run your um, American Flyer next to powering your O-Gage stuff. So that kind of brings in Flyer into the O-Gage family a little bit closer. Very nice. Uh, one comment, when I run my trains up here, guys, I throw my phone into the lake. I just want to be detached from the internet, from my phone, unless I'm filming a video for you guys. So that is one complaint. I don't want to be sitting here on a phone. If there's a way that the TMCC remote or legacy remote can attach to this, I believe it can. Um, we'll have to see. I think the next page, according to the table of contents, the next page... Yes, so page four. Okay, here we go. So you get the Legacy Cab 1L. Uh, that's going for 164 or 165 right there. So that's pretty cool. So I guess that attaches to this via, um, I guess, Bluetooth. Can support up to 10 controllers simultaneously. Okay, so you can have 10 people running your railroad. Very nice. Uh, TMCC binding post. Very nice as well. USB connection. So yeah, I think this is a really cool piece. I might actually look into buying one of these. Uh, they're 500 bucks, but guys, that's a lot cheaper than what the uh, Legacy controllers are going for now if you can find one, and a heck of a lot cheaper than uh, DCS, so very cool. All right, moving on. So here's more about the app. Uh, this has like hyperlink videos you can play. Um, just goes through the basic app. Looks like it's on iOS. Very nice. All right, moving on. So we're getting into O-Scale. Uh, these are like the brass hybrids. I never understood, uh, just one thing to point out, I never understood why Lionel made this beautiful brass model and then they painted it. 
That was one thing that always drove me crazy. Because when I was a kid, brass was starting to come out. And people would just leave them brass. They'd clear coat them so they wouldn't tarnish. But yeah, it's very interesting. Just going through more uh, brass hybrids. Brass hybrid challenger. Okay, so that was on the... Uh, the front of this year's catalog. There it is, the 3819. Wow, what a monster. Look at that, all beautiful brass. I hope it's brass, not painted <laughs> painted yellow. Um, but yeah, these are cool. Um, I don't have any articulating locomotives or uh, anything like that in the collection. They're going for 2500 bucks. So, yeah, it's actually pretty interesting that they're coming out with these so I think they look great you have two different style tenders so look you have like the little cupola in the back the spotters perch and then you have a uh, just a normal coal uh, coal load in the back nothing special and I like the red the red roof pensy stuff better the red tender top very classic got some other uh, railroads here what's that great uh, Detroit Toledo and Ironton there you go and then we have Lehigh and New England. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, Lehigh and New England's pretty cool. They're somewhat local. Four eight fours, and I love CNO. So yeah, the CNO with the white walls, it just looks so nice. Uh, so what's the difference between? Oh, these are just two different road names. You get the six fourteen, the six eleven. Wow, I love the white walls. Uh, here's another one. Chessy System Railroad. So it's kind of like, I guess, a fantasy piece right there. Then we also have a family line. So it's kind of bringing all the the CSX road names. I'd go with the classic CNO 614 right there. All right, so we're getting into some other stuff here. We have the other Greenbrier. This is the, uh, has the deflectors on it. I love these coaches, guys. These are really nice. So it looks like you get a set. It's a $500 set. Um interesting this one's all by herself uh this one has station sounds diner inside that's a hot ticket item passenger baggage we have the uh call it the party car wow very nice and here's an old school caboose it looks like a wartime caboose all wood sided wood caboose that's all they're calling it wow look at this it's another green briar look at this it's like a uh Guys, this reminds me of the 490, or the Yellow Belly, that style. They made an orange one. It was like a prototype, I believe. Uh, these are 260s. That's what they're calling them. These are all new this year. Got all kinds of cool stuff. St. Louis, Rio Grande. Got the Vanderbilt Tender right there. Uh, got a couple other ones here. Middletown, Humblestown, 91. And Southern Pacific, another rounded ten tender. Uh, these cars are really nice. Canadian National Wood Frame. Look very close to the uh, Strasburg Railroad ones that I've seen. Strasburgery. <laughs> 89. 89. It's got the 1970s. And we also have the, what's it say, 2000s? So I was used to this one growing up. This one on the left. Not so much this guy here. But they're both beautiful. Beautiful locomotives. And they're going for 800 bucks. That's not bad at all, actually. Uh, for a legacy and for an engine that has, uh, you know, huge subject matter, it's pretty cool. These coach packs, you know, typical uh, coaches here. Uh, they are new, I believe, for this year's Strasburg stuff. I remember seeing these in old videos. Might be the other coach that I've seen. It's like a Bethlehem Steel uh, variation. Just like this right here. Right here. I think that's really nice. I like the color scheme. And oh, here we go. Strasburg caboose. How much is that going? One nineteen. Okay, so there. I guess all the cabooses are one nineteen. So this is on my list. The Strasburg number twelve. Really nice looking caboose. Uh, these cars, they're two fifty a piece. I'd, I'd take the caboose over the uh, passenger cars. Next, we're getting into legacy diesels. Uh, they're not made of brass. <laughs> they're all plastic. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. These are cool. So let's see what we get. SD40-2. So these are really pretty. I unfortunately do not collect any of these road names. Oh, wait. We have a Susquehanna. I got a Susquehanna boxcar. Sweet. Okay, now we're into uh, FA-2 AA sets. I'm sorry. AAs and Bs. 
And these are going for uh, right around 550. Okay. So the B unit smokes. That's very cool. And you also have this Halloween set. That's awesome. It looks like it's got some type of phantom on the side. Halloween FA-2 AA set. That's all it says. With spooky sounds. Ooh, very cool. I like the Eeries. I like that classic look of the Eerie right there. Reminds me of my, uh, the roof of these look just like my 2032s <laughs> from the post-war. These give off, like, heavy post-war vibes right here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, these are really cool. So with the PRRs, they have the radio antenna. Uh, that's perfect. I love PRR. And then we also have the DNHs. Those are beautiful as well. I'm not the biggest central fan, but I love this uh, lightning bolt scheme on here. And they also did like the venting on the side. It looks really nice. Southern Pacifics are looking beautiful as well. Um, another Marine Corps boxcar US. This this caboose looks very post war esque as well. Very cool. Now we're getting into the SD seventies. Katie designs really nice. This uh, Northwestern looks really nice as well. I don't collect any of these road names, but they are very pretty. Uh, Western Pacific. Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, the veterans, essential workers. Then we also have the CNO. Now this, this guy down here, that that is something for Nick, right there. Six forty nine though. Uh, it's pretty cool. It looks just like a CSX with the lightning bolt on the side. And yeah, the American flag's pointed in the right direction. That's awesome. <laughs> I did see this set online. So Western Maryland, Hagerstown, Hot Shot. Now guys, I already looking at it, it kind of hurts my brain because we have a Circus Scheme A unit right here. I guess they're Alcos. Um, yeah, Alco FA says up here. So having the Circus Scheme Alco A and then a black Alco A, it just hurts my brain. I wish they went with just two circus schemes. I wonder if you could change it up and make two circus schemes. I'll have to see. But I would honestly just want the diesels. <laughs> I don't want the cars. I just want I just want the uh, the circus scheme A unit. Even just getting one. Uh, it says made to order or built to order. So I I would just just give me one. <laughs> These are just like intermodals, pretty sweet. Um, that's interesting how they did Union Pacific, but then there's different road names up top. I don't know how I feel about that. So this car right here, this is an RB M and N car. This is actually at Reading Outer Station. I've seen this car in person, and it sits there advertising the route of their freight route, the fast freight, and all that. And that's their number right there. Wow, that's their real phone number. Um, so yeah, that's one car I will be definitely getting. It's a 129. It's a big car, but that is just too cool. Um, down here we have some graffiti cars. I'm not a huge fan of graffiti, and mostly because where I grew up in Baltimore City, a lot of things were graffitied, and it was just kind of overkill. A lot of it was derogatory, so I'm not a huge fan of the graffiti stuff. Loaded Hoppa sets, uh, BN, CNO, BNO, or Chessy System BNO. These are a little, a uh, little interesting in price for, for two. Um, that's I'd rather go with Weaver cars on these, but they are really nice looking, especially the, uh, the Denver and Rio Grande. It's kind of interesting there. Um, we got some other cars: Ann Arbor, Western Railway, Alabama. Very nice. You got the hobos; they're back. So right now I got the Strasburg Caboose, the. Uh, Boxcar, RBM and M boxcar. Let's see what else we get out of here. Alright, this looks just like a what are you? Um the pacemaker boxcar. What the heck? Right there, the cotton belt. State of Maine, these are great. Love those. Western Maryland insulated. Wow, that's pretty. And I uh, at the top. Oh no, why did you show this to me? Here's another Reading and Northern. Now this, this is not a fuel car. It's not a fuel tanker. This car is meant for carrying fresh water for their steam engines. When they run their steam program, 
they use this as their water tank or water tower because the R RBM and M does not have a water tower. So they towed around one of these. I've seen them multiple times. They have two. We call it 027. I call it 031. Got all the different features. The Operation Lifesaver. Sea tracks think train. Yes. All tracks can be used. That's the way I think about it. All right, so we're getting into some of these more dock siders and stuff like that. These are really nice. Uh, they're going through 350. That's crazy because I actually I bought my conventional one um, years ago. It was a hundred bucks. It's actually the first engine I bought after cutting lawns, but they didn't have the sounds and the smoke. These are all upgraded with uh, really nice sounds and everything. So over here we're gonna get into some NW2s. It looks like. Yep, NW2. These are just like the post wars. Uh, they have smoke. And I guess they have sounds. Yep, command control. Um, wow. Okay. Very nice. Get a couple different road names in here. You get uh, B, N, Santa Fe, and then Santa Fe. So it's kind of like the uh, well, Burlington, Burlington Northern, and then you get Burlington, Burlington Northern Santa Fe. <laughs> to get all three. That's cool. Very nice. Really interesting looking cars, like got some ice cream. Um, Milwaukee Road sounds like another ice cream flavor, but it's not. Uh, I got some 100 year box cars of a bunch of different railroads that uh, I guess created those. It's kind of cool. Chicago Railroad Fair box car. Bazooka. Ooh. Now, these guys, I will say, these are really nice. Um,. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Bazooka Bubblegum. Got some uh, automobile stuff right here. Death Crossing. Now, a friend of the channel, uh, Conrail Nuts, actually sent me this via Facebook. I thought it was kind of funny because you don't get death on the other side of the tracks. You just get death on this side. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the other complaint, there's only one complaint I have about this piece. It doesn't have death on both sides, and it's strictly, strictly fast track. So um, I wish they just made this overhead accessory. It'd be really cool. A smoking Diner. Look at that. It's called the, uh, what, Moon Roadside Diner. It's got different plaques on it. It's called the Owl's Late Night. I like that. has, like, a menu board outside. Then we have an Amtrak. Yep, Amtrak, officially licensed Amtrak station. All those are part of their plug-and-play. More accessories here. Uh, Cohen Family Creamery. So, uh, Lionel Joshua Cohen. It's kind of a little play on words right there. Cohen's Family with a platform. And that's really, really cool. It's for 200 bucks. Um, it's not too bad. This way, uh, Caution Flying Cows. Yeah, it's something I watch out for in Pennsylvania. Uh, also, Layout Ends... 100 yards. I, I don't have that much space up here, but you know. Uh, reindeer crossing, yeah. And mosquitoes, we don't have mosquitoes where I live. Thankfully, we're up in the mountains. So, uh, yeah, I, I would take this way. That's how I feel like driving around the old railroads around here. And the uh, flying cows. Uh, Grandpa's workshop. This is a sound piece, I believe. It's at the plug and play uh, with sounds, yes. That's kind of cool. Uh, I wish it said Dad's Fix-It Shop. My dad always helped me fix stuff back in the day. Uh, there's also a She Shed. i got to hide that from Nikki. She Shed with Sounds. Whoa. Okay. That's kind of fun. Okay, these are really interesting. Look at these guys. Darts Away, Fish, or Fowl. Clobber the Clowns. That's one of my favorite games. Oh, man. And these are going for $119. It's a three-pack. So you can do, like, a carnival scene. Uh, smells like yum. <laughs> so I guess the dog is still peeing after 70 years of fun. Right there. Fake newsstand. So I believe this is, like, an MTH uh, kickoff right here. MTH did a lot of political stuff. Power supplies. So we're good on power and the Nick's Crossing studio. Uh, but really interesting. Got all these different power blocks. Um, thank God they went with this external breaker here. 
I was burning through these old, uh, yeah, there it is, CW80. Oof. But it says revised. Look at that. CW80 Transformer revised. Thank God. Power Master. I'm going to upgrade to Legacy Power Master soon. All right, everyone. So that's going to do it for this Lino catalog review of the 2022 Volume 2 catalog. I want to thank you guys, the viewers, for suggesting this video as well. This was a lot of fun to make. And, yeah, it was just great talking to you guys about what I think is cool in the catalog and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for this awesome idea of a video. There are a couple pieces in this catalog I'd love to purchase, such as those RNN, Reading and Northern Cars. You have that water tanker, and you also have that extended box car. Those are beautiful, unique pieces that, you know, I don't know how long Lionel's planning on making RNN pieces, but RNN stuff is very hot right now because of the mighty T1-2102. And you also have 425 and their F units as well. Now on the other side, Strasbourg, that beautiful caboose that they had in that collection for their Strasbourg series. Yes, I'd love to pick up that wood frame caboose. That is just a very cool piece and one of a kind as well. Now if I can, I want to see if I can get those um, Circus Scheme F units, possibly get an AA set of those Western Maryland's. That would just be so cool. Or if they could... Um, replace the black one with the circus unit uh, that'd be so cool but anyways guys if you're new to the channel always consider subscribing giving the thumbs up really helps out and love reading your guys comments what do you like in this catalog or what don't you like I'd love to hear it in comments until next time everyone be safe happy railroading and we'll see you next time see you guys